So, I'm here with Richard. He knows a lot more than me. And we're going to talk about the Torin 6 and exactly what makes the Torin 6 the Torin 6. Richard, over to you on key features that you think everyone needs to know about. It's brilliant. Thanks for having me, Aubrey. Much appreciated. Good pleasure. Um, so, yeah, obviously, our key feature um, is the foot shaped toe box. Um, so, on the Torin 6, um, like every other model, we keep the big toe long. We allow the big toe to work and we allow your toes to splay out more naturally. Uh, and there's a really nice uh, upper on there, full jacquard mesh all the way around the front of the shoe. We've got a lovely molded heel collar around the back there as well, so you get a nice secure locking fit. Um, one of the key features with running shoes is the heel cup. Okay. Uh, it's a deal break for most people. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, you guys probably won't like me saying this. I did a review, the Nike Invincible 3 came out and that's one thing I faulted. A lot of people are talking about this is, the heel just slips as you're running and you have to give it an extra effort. So it's really good to see that you guys are being intentional about what the heel does in this shoe. And one thing I want to touch on as well, I see a lot of shoes that come with different fits for the shoe. Are you saying you've got different fits just for the toe box? That's correct, yeah. So we, we do three different fits. Uh, we have a, a standard wait, fit. Wait, wait, wait. Not for the shoe, yeah. you mean specifically... For the toe box, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that, that's a lot of attention to detail. It is, yeah. Can we talk about your midsole? Torin 6, we use Ego Max. That's our Max plush cushion foam that we use. Uh, Ego Max essentially is um, put together through um, air injected into the foam, which is expanded out into a bubble. So it's like cracking open an aero bar equivalent is probably a good analogy. I'm getting hungry, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's how we, we go about that. So it's nice and soft, it's very plush. It is that light, nice shoe for the nice steady runs, your recovery runs in particular. Yeah. Uh, and Ego Max is, is something that we've, we've, we've put in the shoes now for a couple of years. Perfect. And the other thing to not leave out in terms of the midsole, zero drop. Yes. So basically you'll have the same amount of cushioning throughout the whole foot. Basically, so like if you've got the same in the heel, you'll have the same in the forefoot. You won't lose any. And it doesn't matter where you strike on the foot, you're going to have the same amount. If you're a forefoot runner, so for, so for example, in the Torin, we've got 28 mil, you're going to have 28 mil in the forefoot. If you're heel striking, you're going to have 28 millimeters from the heel all the way through to the front. Uh, and that just allows you to disperse the weight evenly throughout the foot right. as well. So, yeah. And lastly, if we turn the shoe over and start talking about the outsole. Yeah. Um, Richard, on the outsole, I'm noticing a color difference in terms of the rubbers. Yes, um, so ultimately most people will heel strike. That's just, just how it is. So what we do is we put uh, a much more abrasive uh, rubber on the outside of the heel, because ultimately your foot lands on the outside, whether you strike heel or forefoot or midfoot. So that is always going to be the first point of contact. Got so you it. want a harder and more abrasive rubber. Um, and then obviously you follow the pattern through to the front. We have a softer one at the front there to allow it to flex more. And also if people who run again a little bit more on the forefoot, they don't want something that's going to be too stiff and rigorous as well. Perfect, perfect. If you've done your job, Richard, I should be able to summarize this very, very well. Um, you have maintained the thinking of zero drop and I genuinely love that having the Torin 4.5 and I look forward to any further models of the Torin. I love what you've done with the heel. I had problems with previous shoes that we've mentioned before where my heel just keeps coming in and out. I love what you've done in terms of the outsole because I think when people analyze wear and tear you can see specific places where the shoe will wear out more than others and that thinking is great. Um, so for me, in summary, I think this is definitely one I will get, but there must be a new version of this coming soon. Correct. <laughs> so yeah, so we, we launched the Torin uh, 7 in June, so look out for that. For that. Uh, there'll be massive updates with that shoe yeah. uh, and a good continuation with the Torin story as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to that this summer. Perfect. Richard, thank you very much for doing this. And um, when the 7 comes out, I'll be looking out for my emails for my complimentary shoe. <laughs> You're welcome. You're definitely <laughs> <laughs>